Thank you for joining this quick how-to screencast brought to you by Salesforce Support. To see more content like this, hit subscribe. All right, let's talk about validation rules in Salesforce. You can use these things to make sure your data quality remains high in Salesforce. So when your reps are updating records, you have all the appropriate fields filled out with good values. Now you can create validation rules that only look at one field at a time, or you can make validation rules that look at multiple fields. So only check to make sure a field is empty when we're in a certain stage, or only make sure this field is uh, valid when it's a certain dollar amount, something like that. So here you're seeing me create a standard validation rule. I'm just gonna do this off of a single field. So what I'm gonna say is, if the next step field is blank, I'm going to show the user some message. Okay, so I'm gonna say, I really need the next step field to be filled out. Please don't leave it empty. And I can decide where this error message shows up. So this validation rule only looks at one field. And so it doesn't matter what the rep is doing. They could be updating any other step. They could be updating any other field. And that validation rule is gonna kick in. Whenever that field is empty, you're gonna get an error message. You will not be able to save this record if that field is empty. Well, that's a little too heavy handed for our use case. So in this case, I'm going to add a logical function. And so you can add ifs, ors. In this case, I'm going to add a and. So in this case, the validation rule is going to check for two different conditions and they both need to be true. We're gonna check to see if the next step is blank and something else. And in this case, I'll just pick another field like the uh, amount field, it doesn't matter. And we'll say, and the amount is over 25,000. So both of these need to be true now. The next step field has to be empty and the deal has to be over 25,000. So essentially what we've done is we've created a validation rule that only checks to see if the next steps are empty on big deals. Okay, so now you can make other updates, you can make other changes, and it won't apply until both of those conditions are true. So here you'll see me make a quick edit, and now the deal is big enough, and the next steps were empty, so we got the error message. Okay, and any combination of both of those criteria being true uh, is going to set off the validation rule. Now that's an and condition. Okay, if I changed it to an or, condition, then the validation would rule would fire whenever the deal's over 25,000, regardless of if the next step field is filled out. And that's not actually what we would want. So you really want to be conscientious between and, ors, and ifs in your validation rules, because how you use them is really going to determine when your validation rules fire and what they consider valid. Okay, so when the overall validation rule is true, that is when you're going to see the validation will fire and display an error message and block the user from making an update. For more information, check out help.salesforce.com or join us on the trail at trailblazer.salesforce.com.